soalan uh, daripada Tuan Khairun eh. Uh, analisis uh, JJ macam mana cikgu untuk minggu hadapan? Okay, I think uh, JJ kita ada share last week. I think it almost uh, apa tu, as per kita punya analisis. Because I remember I was saying that there is a high possibility they can make one higher high before uh, they turn. Okay, can see my screen? Yes. Okay, sekejap eh, saya tengok the price level dia ni. 158 close to 158 dia pergi. So the previous high was uh, so hari tu dia sekejap saya kena tengok 4 hourly time frame. Okay the previous high when we did analysis was 157.40. Okay so at the time I was saying that there is a possibility akan ada retracement. Okay but this part which is normally most of the traders get caught always there will be a we call it a fake out lah apa semua kan. So ataupun another new higher high. So I said it because this move is a very strong move. Macam tadi saya bagi tahu tu. So the chances dia nak turun bearish move very unlikely. So dia akan buat satu orang kata uh, breakout then only probably. So it actually indeed breakout and then it made a new high ataupun new higher high dekat 158.40 uh, okay or 158.30 then only it came down almost close to about 200 pips dia turun. Okay. So siapa yang sell dekat sini of course ramai saya tahu dia start layer sell dekat sini including myself. Okay. Uh, so siapa yang masih boleh tahan uh, margin then they, they actually made money. But of course kat sini dia mengainkan perasaan sebab kejap turun kejap naik kejap turun kejap naik. But now we are seeing a clear breakout. Okay dia macam dah break out this uh, neckline if you guys consider this as a left shoulder right shoulder and a head okay so basically hns punya pattern break out so the the typical movement for this kind of a pattern okay will be going up and then test this uh, broken support and then come down so this will be a typical textbook uh, textbook uh, move that we always expect Okay, but again, market <laughs> some of the time don't respect the textbook theory. Okay, it might go up, come down, and then make up, then only come down. So this uh, what I'm going to bearish flag might happen as well. Okay, so if you ask me, I'm, I'm more of this this move for DJ right now. This bearish flag instead of uh, going up and then test come down. I would say it might make low and then make another lower high, then only drop uh, to a slightly deeper pullback somewhere here. Okay, once it's here, again the long term or mid term, I would say still going up and then come down somewhere here. Okay, so this kind of a move I'm looking for GJ. So, but but bear in mind there is a one news. Let me check a billion news too. Is I think maybe next week because BOE is going to meet sometime very soon. Okay, yeah, GBP on the fourth November. Okay, okay, until fourth November, we don't expect too much weakness GBP. Okay, there will be a, some volatility. So, anehnya sampai fourth November ni, we have to expect maybe GBP make some kind of a still bullish move or type of corrective move. Post fourth November, then only we might see uh, breaking down. So this period, I would say still look for some kind of a scalping or intraday towards uh, upside. Or maybe it might drop a bit, then goes up, then only come down. So still, I would say if you want, if you guys want to buy, safe safe approach will be wait somewhere deeper. If you want to guys to sell somewhere around. 78 or 88.6 uh, from this level wait for here ataupun at the double top okay but GJ as I mentioned it in a one month plus or three to five weeks plus I'm expecting uh, GJ to drop uh, quite a lot as well okay okay baik terima kasih Cikgu Rashid so itu analisa untuk pair GJ ya eh? Jauh juga ah, JJ dia. 
naik ke atas. So, the, 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 the thing behind on GJ, EJ, UJ semua tu, JPY was very weak. I think I mentioned yeah. briefly last week because yes. JPY uh, is a, is a uh, the carry trade currency. So, when uh, essentially GBP, which they're expecting to increase the interest rate, so everyone is uh, borrowing in the JPY to go into GBP, to long GBP. So they took the opportunity, that's why GBP, J, uh, JPY was going up 300, 400 plus pips, which also driven by the UJ move to 114.30 from about mm. 112 something. It made a, a new high at 113, then 113.50, then 114, 114.30. So, so basically JPY pair was very weak. So all the JPY pairs was uh, weak. But again, we can see some kind of a, correction that happened already last two, three days. Mm. Uh, but again, that's not a total correction yet because JPY, as I mentioned it, this kind of a move might repeat what happened about four, five years ago, or that was, sorry, about three, three years ago. Okay. That might most likely might repeat the same history this December towards uh, mid January. Okay. So before that happened, we still have to give room for the market to go up that means uh not yet okay because right now i think most likely will be next two weeks might be a us dollar ataupun uh risk on like aussie uh new zealand canadian currency punya move then maybe overtaken by us dollar then towards the end of the year will be overtaken by jpy so if you are talking about currency strength i would say right now will be a risk on currencies okay Aussie, uh, Kiwi, uh, Canadian, and also GBP, then maybe US dollar will come into play uh, in a maybe mid November after FMC until about, let's say, early December kind of a period, then probably overtaken by JPY uh, towards uh, at the later part. 